Working with grouped objects as hyperlinks can be a little bit tricky, and I'm going to just show you why. I've got two grouped objects here, this one with Chikimo and this one with Tiro. If I click on one of them, you see that the hyperlink option is actually grayed out. Now, even though PowerPoint is supposed to see a grouped object as one single object, it's still not managing to be able to apply a hyperlink to this because there are actually two objects here. And there are one of two pitfalls that you can fall into. As you can see, you can actually select just the front image and then you can apply a hyperlink to that. But that's actually only going to apply the link to this image in the front. Alternatively, the mistake you can make is to only apply the hyperlink to the image at the back. And I'm going to show you the problem with each of these two examples in a slideshow now. If we go to Chicky Mode, you can see that I'm on this button and that looks just fine. But as soon as I move inwards a little bit, I suddenly lose the link. And that's because only this back ball is a link and this Chikimo image is sitting on top of it. So as soon as I go over the Chikimo image, I don't get the link anymore. And we've all experienced the kind of things that this can throw up in a natural class. We know that we need to look for the hand icon, but you don't always remember. So you're in the middle of class and suddenly you just want to click this link and you go slight but too far and suddenly you've ended up with a completely wrong slide. Then you end up in a situation where you've got to hit escape, you've got to scroll up and down, find your slides, and you can lose all other kind of animations and things. So it's really something that you want to try your best to avoid. We've got the converse situation here with t where we don't get the link on the outside on the circle, only on the actual character, and we get the same problem. You don't go quite far enough in, and again, we've got to escape and carry on. The way to work around this is before you group these objects together. So if, for example, we look here at Dooney and this is his circle over here. So these are not grouped in any way. I have already applied a hyperlink to Dooney and he's going to the Dooney slide. What I now need to do is separately also apply the same hyperlink to this circle. So I click hyperlink and I link to the Dooney slide. Click OK. Now I can move Dooney into place. I drag around to select both of these objects. I go to my Format tab and I say Group, Group. Now let's have a look in a slideshow and see what the result is. So I've got my hand immediately as I go onto this button and it doesn't matter where I go on top of this object, I get the full link and so now there's very little chance that anybody's going to misclick and so you're going to get much better usability from your hyperlinks.